Hello and welcome to the channel, I'm Monus and today I will review the fifth and final studio album by System of Down. Hypnotize and you know, final, it doesn't mean that it is their last album ever, you know. Uh, personally, I wouldn't really care if they would make a new record. Uh, the band says, oh, we're not going to do it because the inspiration isn't there or something, or they just don't care, or they just like to live with their past, I, I don't know, but you know. They just don't want to do it, and I respect that because you know I don't really give a shit anyway. Um, I like System of a Down. I like the first two albums, yeah, and I kind of like the last two albums too. So yeah, System of a Down is arguably you know they are pretty much a flawless band, but I never really cared for them too much. Uh, I think still this album that was Alex's favorite for some reason I don't know what's up with that but you know it, it is a good album I think but you can hear that that is a leftover album I mean yeah that's, it's just kind of like fuck it um, so fifth album by them final studio album um, fuck sake yeah hypnotize I, I, I forgot the name already uh, the cover is pretty cool though the cover is some guy in the middle you know, a blue face guy, blue face guy, triangle, controlling clocks or something, and those clocks control nine heads. Yeah, I'm not sure what the album cover is on about, but I do think that it's a pretty cool album cover, and it is up for debate their greatest album cover, arguably, because hip uh, or. Uh, Toxicity is literally like the Hollywood sound, but you know, instead of Hollywood toxicity. Mesmerize is just one face, that's, that's kind of like fuck all, so you know, the debut album is literally a hand. So I do think that this is their best album cover, Steal This Album. Is, I, I'm, it's literally, I believe, an album with, which says Steal This Album, so yeah, that's of course the worst. Um, I do like this one. It's produced by Rick Rubin and Darren Malekian. I had no idea that Rick Rubin produced these guys, but there you go. Um, album got pretty good ratings, got a 78 on Metacritic, 91 on Absolute Punk. You know, of course, punk people love this album. You know, punk people probably love the shit out of the system, so there you go. All Music gave it 4.5, uh, B, B, Pitchfork gave it a 7.9, Pop Matters gave it a 6. Rolling Stone gave it a 3.5, Stylus Magazine gave it a C, Esplanik and USA gave it a four, 4 stars and USA Today gave it 3 out of 4. I never get that, why Why give 3 out of 4 stars? Why have that rating or why have that system right there? Why not just rate it for, you know, um, why not rate it you know, out of 5? Why rate it out of 4? I don't never got that, but whatever. You know, you want to be unique but you just... For me, to me, it just looked more retarded. Like you, your people can't count, you know, this many stars. So we're gonna uh, stone it down a little bit. Like it's just so retarded. Um, yeah, we have twelve tracks on there. Uh, the album is thirty nine minutes and forty seconds. The first track is Attack. Pretty self-explanatory explanatory song you know uh, we attack and then you know it goes into this very repetitive kind of tone i do like the melodious parts of attack or no that's the that's the next song i mean let's just go to the next one fuck it uh, i mean attack it kind of speaks for itself it is kind of a punk song so i do get why absolute absolute punk gave it a 91 percent because attack is pretty much a punk song in a way punk metal in a way Dreaming is a bit more melodious. Uh, I do like that the song is a bit longer and a bit more uh, complex. Uh, no, it's not the longest song, we will get to that. Um, yeah, it is a pretty melodious song. It does get a bit boring for me after a while, but it's still pretty fun. And it is a pretty, you know, interesting follow up to Attack since that was such a repetitive song. And Dreaming is a bit more diverse, you know, has a bit more harmony. Then we have Kill, Rock and Roll, um, kind of self-explanatory again. It is, it is kind of like a more catchier side than Attack. Um, it's two and a half minutes. I'm pretty sure this is the shortest track of the album. Yeah, it pretty much is. So this is pretty much a punk song. Uh, didn't really like it because it's kind of cliche and kind of in your face. So, you know, it's kind of meh in my opinion, but there you go. And then we have Hypnotize, which is pretty much my second favorite song. A lot of great melody on this track. 
Uh, just a lot of great, uh, great moments on this track. Uh, a lot of great melodious sides. You know, the, the lyric that goes like, uh, I'm just waiting for my girl in my car or something. I'm waiting to get high or whatever. You know, they just want to have a good time. Great melodies on the song, great guitar line. Uh, I do really like this track. The title track is pretty solid on this, on this album, so there you go. And then we have Stealing Society. I have to be honest here, after you know the first couple of tracks, it's you know this record kind of lost my interest in a way. Uh, this song is three minutes long. I didn't really care for it. It is just kind of like your typical, oh, we're bad boys, we're bad boy killers, you know, st Stealing Society cliche. Didn't really mind it, but you know, wouldn't mind to don't hear this again, but you know, it was sold for the, for what it was. And then we have Tentative, a uh, three and a half minute song. There's some really weird production on the song going on. Uh, I didn't mind it honestly, but you know, it, it was kind of weird. Well, you know, it was still solid, I suppose, but it was kind of like a weird album for me, so there you go. And then we have You Fig, and I believe. There was something really strange happening on this track. I, I forgot what it was. Like, you know, fuck it, let's just put it on for a bit. You figure, you know, what was the song all on about? Fuck sake. Like, I mean, if I just play a snippet, they're probably not gonna copy Strike Me, so there you go. Like, it's a really weird song. Yeah, yeah, this part. What the fuck is this part? What the fuck is that? It's such a weird track. Um, it's alright, I guess. You know, what the fuck? It was just kind of weird for me, but you know, it's still sold last. It's still funny, so there you go. And we have Holy Mountains. Uh, this is the longest track of the album. Uh, yeah, I, I do think that this is a very good track. It did really enjoy, uh, or I really enjoyed this track, so there you go. Uh, yeah, pretty much enjoyable. Uh, very progressive in a way, too. 5 minutes 28 seconds, so you know, it is kind of a proc epic for them, for their standard. Because I'm not sure if they have a longer song than 528, but you know, might change. Uh, then we have vicinity and of obscenity, and I will just you know leave it at this. Uh, how did this fucking song go again? The good, the good, the good, banana pie, the good, banana pie, banana pie, the the good, the good, the good. Uh, banana pie, banana pie, banana pie, pizza pie, whatever. This song is funny as fuck. Um, yeah, I mean, don't take the song too seriously, and you will have a good time with the song. There you go. Um, She's Like Heroin is a pretty funny song. And there's some really cliche, uh, you know, rhymes in, on this track, but I did really enjoy the lyrical content and the music behind it. Uh, or selling ass. Da -da -da -da, selling heroin, ass, you know, that part. It was pretty funny, it, it sticks in your ass. So, you know, it's not one of my favorites, favorites but it is a fun song. <clears throat> yeah, and then the last two songs are, you know, pretty much the two best of the album. Uh, we have Lonely Day and Soldier Side. Um, yeah, Lonely Day is a very, uh, you know, lonely song, as the title would say, very uh, lonesome song, very empty. Uh, very bleak too, you know, especially for System of a Down, this is a really good uh, change up for the band. So I didn't really like it that, you know, uh, the song was as diverse as, as it was. So yeah, good song I would say, uh, enjoyable and yeah, it's one of the peaks of System I would say. And then we have Soldier Side, and uh, yeah, this is pretty, this is easily my favorite song on the record. A lot of great harmonies to this track, uh, the build up is a bit slow, but you know, whenever the, the harmonies drop, whenever that guitar uh, line comes in, it is just very melodious, it's just very pretty to listen to, it's just amazing, honestly. Uh, it just closes out the album perfectly with those, you know, those sad guitar tones at the ending and that kind of shred moment uh, towards the course of the, of the record. So great closing side. It's easily my favorite song on the record. You know, beside uh, with the two singles and 
vicinity of obscenity because it's such an obscene song. So I'm gonna make this 10 minutes. I'm gonna give this album a 7.8. Uh, I did enjoy it, but there were some flaws on it. Thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.